Returning to our top story this hour, the Bank of Canada has increased interest rates. I want to turn to BNM Bloomberg's David George Kosh, who is inside the lockup. He's got all the details for us. So, David, we see the rate is up as predicted. What's the Bank of Canada saying about future hikes and the reason behind the decision? Well, that's a bit of a two-parter, Mercy. I'll, I'll answer the second one right now because the Bank of Canada essentially outlined three major points and why they felt the need to raise interest rates today by 75 basis points. The one is that the effects of COVID-19 outbreaks in China, supply disruptions and the Ukraine war continue to dampen growth globally as well as boost prices, not just here in Canada, but again, globally as well. Short-term inflation expectations, according to the Bank of Canada, remain high. Around the core inflation rate is 5%. We see these headline numbers of 7.6% in July, stubbornly high, despite the fall in gasoline prices, um, service prices, uh, other goods as well. They remain stubbornly high. And the great, there is a greater risk now that inflation will remain entrenched. The bank is looking to act on that aggressive, with that aggressive move higher. And the bank also says that the economy is expected to moderate in the second half of this year as well. So that's why we're seeing a 75 basis point hike too. The bank still judges, however, that the rate will need to rise further without giving a clear indication of how high the rate should be. Now, economists are a little divided on where exactly the rate should be going towards. Some believe that the bank should maybe take a pause right now at 3.25 percent to essentially gauge how um, 300 basis points over the course of 2022 will impact the Canadian economy. Some believe that it needs to go higher, at least three and a half percent, as high as four percent as well to essentially help take a little bit of the froth out of the housing market, continue to dampen demand and lower prices. There are some economists, Bank of Montreal specifically put out a research note recently that says that targeting cycle, uh, tightening cycles that we're currently in right now typically see short term rates rise above core inflation. Core inflation again, 5%. Could we see interest rates rise above that or, or reach that level? That's something that I think the Bank of Canada is currently going to be mulling over as they see the data from the economy and inflation trickle in. So, David, what does today's increase mean to the average Canadian consumer out there? Well, certainly if you are in the housing market and uh, now with the uh, uh, OSFI mandated stress tests to qualify for a mortgage, um, the bank's rate hike today means that you will have to qualify for a mortgage rate at around 7% to essentially be accepted into a mortgage. And if you have pre-qualified for a mortgage, you're likely um, going to try to snap up any sort of home that you can buy with that kind of rate right now. That being said, as an overall broad perspective, the housing market should continue to go down as demand continues to soften. Hopefully that will also impact inflation as well. We may continue to see prices come down and moderate. But if you do have some significant amounts of debt, and there was a recent Equifax survey that in the second quarter of this year said Canadians owe a collective $2 trillion, $2.2 trillion, that collective amount will likely rise higher as um, borrowing banks, the big five banks, Scotiabank, Bank of Montreal, TD Bank, and so on, will raise their prime rate later today in a corresponding move to what the bank announced today. So higher debt payments, higher interest payments, uh, a tougher mortgage rate for those home buyers that are looking to get into the market. And again, hopefully lower inflation in the, in the near to medium term. Okay, David George Kosh, thanks for all of that. Really appreciate it.